Yes, everyone, welcome back to the channel. How is it going? I haven't got anybody in the chat. I'm uh, just wondering, uh, have I got it connected to the correct thing or not? Uh, how are you all doing? Did you all have a wonderful weekend? Hopefully you did. Uh, and we're going to get stuck straight into what is happening with Manchester United Football Club and who we might be trying to sign and all of that good stuff. I've still not got anybody in the chat. I think something's gone wrong. Um, where is my chat? I haven't got a chat here. Where's my chat? I haven't got a chat. There's no live chat on it. Here we are. People have started to pop in here now. What's happened there? That was really weird, wasn't it? Um, it's fine. Apparently it's working, it's working, it's working. There we go. Everyone's spamming the shit out of it. It's fixed. <laughs> Righty then. So what is going on uh, with Manchester United? Um, Romano has got uh, a bit of an update for us as well. Um, and that is, first up and foremost, uh, Harry Maguire, club captain. Currently, there's some rumours that it's going to be Bruno Fernandes um, pretty quickly taking over as a club captain. I don't think there's too many people upset about that, in all honesty. Um, but apparently he's been training three times a day for three weeks. He wants to fight for his place and not give up, apparently. And then the MEN are saying that United's valuation of Harry Maguire could prevent him leaving the club unless there's a compromise on the fee. United understood to want £50 million. Uh, Varane, Martinez, Lindelof and Shaw all ahead of Maguire in the pecking order but despite his standing United not actively looking to sell him uh, and as they recruit an upgrade to replace him um, to be honest whether that's true or not that's the stance that United have to put out there to be honest I think that is the stance that United do need to stick out there because otherwise people are going to if, if you go yeah we want him off our books get rid then all that's going to happen is people are going to offer you nothing for him uh, and you get your, your pants pulled down. So don't believe everything that you hear leaked, um, especially when it comes to that we want to keep them because we clearly don't. Um, and it's just about finding the right person who's going to pay us the right amount of money for him. In terms of the fact that he's training three days, uh, three times a day, then I would question why that wasn't possible um, in the season. Why has he only been doing it for three weeks? He hasn't been playing. And I would think a professional footballer... Um, with the resources at his disposal that like Harry Maguire has got, I would assume any professional footballer that isn't regularly playing should be going home and doing not just extras, but like a full workout. Like, get the Rocky Four on, get in the shed, get the sauna on. Like, just get absolutely fired into it. That's what you've got to, Surely that's what you've got to do, right? Otherwise, you ain't working hard enough. Simple as that. And, you know, is he just training gym? Because that's not a problem for Harry Maguire. Physicality, speed maybe, but physicality is not a problem for Harry Maguire. It's awareness. Is he, train, is he training that? If he's training that, then you might have a chance. But if he's not training that, then I don't know what's going on there. Um, Whitterbird says, 100% Steve, why now? As, far, as someone told Maguire that he is, this isn't good enough, maybe. Chris says, whatever we get from Maguire, we'll have to pay him some of his existing contracts off. I think we're going to end up topping up his wage, yeah. Damien says, Rocky Ford did have the best workout montage. Oh, fact. Absolute fact. Um, Darren Cox says, he's due about 10 mil in a wage bonus, so United may have to take a lower bid. Wow. Um Mr. Mamsey says United don't have the capability to move players on. We absolutely don't. I don't think anybody would dispute that with you. Um, Mr. Mamsey said I'd be happy if we got 25 mil for Maguire. Uh, Akan says money can't make Maguire a better player, even if he trains 20 years daily. I'm not sure that's the case. I'm not sure that is the case. I think you can definitely improve. Um, but yeah, all right, let's... Uh, I haven't actually got... I wasn't going to talk about David De Gea, but um, Daz has just mentioned chances of giving De Gea a testimonial match. Um, we absolutely should. Now, two things can be correct at once. And I heard someone mention this at the weekend. Um, and I agree with what they're saying. I didn't agree with the tone in which they said it. Uh, and I think there's a, there's a much... There's a much better way to to put across the feeling. And I'm going to try and do that. I mean, I'm clumsy. Sometimes I say the wrong fucking thing. Um, even with what I'm trying to say in my head, sometimes I get it wrong. Um, 
but I largely agree with the sentiment of what this guy was saying. Um, he agrees with the decision to let De Gea go. He said glad. Glad is a different emotion. He said, I'm glad he's going. I'm not necessarily glad he's going. I agree with the decision to let him go. I think he's a, a fairer way to sort of paint that. I agree with the decision to let him go. I don't agree with the manner in which he was let go. Uh, I think that if Manchester United knew coming the end of the season that they wanted to move on beyond David De Gea, they should have spoken to the player about that and been honest with him and organised a farewell for him either at the last game or in um, one of the like a, a, some sort of a pre-season friendly where we can actually say goodbye to him. They did that with Rio um, where he was kind of let go proper unceremoniously and it was a really hastily arranged uh, testimonial game. Now, uh, I think there's going to be a match at Old Trafford on the 5th of August. That might be the time that they just shoehorn in a David De Gea testimonial. Um, but it's it's a joke. Uh, I think that the way they've treated David De Gea is not how you treat people that have been at the club for 12 years. And like I said, I agree with the decision to let him go and I don't agree with the manner in which he has been let go. And I think that's really important. Like I think that Manchester United can improve on him. I don't think we get value for money on him as a goalkeeper, but there has to be a level of respect for the record-breaking servant of a goalkeeper that we've got. This is one of the most... Um, this is one of the most um, decorated goalkeepers we've ever had uh, and he deserves to be treated as such. Um, Teowan says, is this not the ruthlessness we've been calling for though? No, this is just disrespectful. You can be ruthless. Like you could have been ruthless and said a month ago, two months ago, David, thank you for your time. We are moving on. Uh, but we do believe you, uh, should be given a proper send off. So we're going to give you the opportunity to say goodbye to the fans. None of this, give him a contract, let him sign it, take it away from him. That's just not how you treat people. That's not how you treat people. Like, no, you you front him up six, eight weeks ago and you say, Dave, this is the end of the road for you and Manchester United, but we want to recognise what you've done for the club and give you the send-off you deserve. There's nothing wrong with doing that. And that would have been the, the proper thing to do. And we didn't do that. And I think Manchester United, for the last 10, 15 years, have, have absolutely... Joe Smith said this a couple of years ago, and I can't echo it more. When I was growing up, Manchester United was the good. You know, we was not only were we good on the pitch, but we were the good, the force for good. We seemed to be the ones that were doing it classy. You know, we arrived for European games in our suits and just, like we seemed to get those little details correct more often than not. Fergie talks about you know, historically Manchester United don't get good money for their players because good servants deserve a good payday somewhere else so they lower the fee that the club wants to get so they can go and earn a better wage elsewhere Manchester United do that for the right reasons we do things that are a detriment to us to do the right thing in the last 15 years under Glazer ownership Manchester United have not done that for me uh this is the first major major uh bad mark against Richard Arnold that could have been handled a thousand times better and it should have been handled a hell of a lot better. Uh, and I think it's an absolute disgrace. It's an absolute disgrace. Manchester United to me meant more than that, means more than that. And David De Gea deserves more than that. Um, like I said, I completely agree with the decision to allow him to leave. I completely disagree with the manner in which it was handled. Uh, and it could have been so much better than that. You don't fucking treat people like that. Uh, Morton Muller says do I think we'll alternate between Hoyland and Rashford for the nine next season and how do I think Hoyland would do for his first season there's a very interesting stat going on um, about uh, just how effective Hoyland is and I think we might need to do a, a deeper drill down into this one um, and see uh, Zach says I'm doing a dissertation on war experience I'd love to chat to you about it uh, there's an email address on my socials uh, email Deji there and he'll sort it out for you um, okay, Fred next. So um, continuing with the outs and the, we will talk about Anana as well. So on Fred, uh, Fred has now got a new agent uh, and he could leave as Fulham seemingly want to bid for him. Uh, but there's also Saudi clubs that want him. Um, playing a more important role is key for him now for his future. Listen, I don't blame any player now. I think if Saudi Arabia are picking the phone up, I think you're answering. Uh, I won't be surprised to see De Gea go there either, to be honest. Um, on Onana... 
Uh, Romano says it's Onana week for United. Negotiations will continue with a final round in order to submit official bid and get the deal done. Sources expect the agreement done by Wednesday, Thursday. Personal terms agreed last week. So we are on the cusp. Onana looks like he'll be a Manchester United player uh, by the end of the week, which is absolutely sensational. Uh, and then Rasmus Hoyland uh, to round it out. Uh, Atalanta dropped a major hint over the future of Rasmus Hoyland. According to L'Equipe, the Italian side already playing for life of items suggest they're closing in a deal on Almira's El Bilal Torre as a replacement forward. That's always a great indicator that negotiations must be coming to a close and that Manchester United might be about to get. Uh, man, there was some talk of Mason Greenwood going the other way. Um, it remains to be seen whether there's any uh, truth in all of that one as well. Um, Salford says, under Fergie, our players went Madrid. Now they're linked with Fulham and West Ham. Um, I mean, yes and no. We also sold players to those clubs as well. Uh, Ed says, from Rio and Vidic to Mata and Jay Lings, uh, this club loves handling contracts and exits horribly. Completely agree. Um, Jimmy says, remember when we were linked to Jordan Pickford? What a disaster that would have been. I hope that was just his agent doing that. Um, Ginge, no, sorry, who was it? Uh, Jeffrey says, what are the chances that Hoyland hits the ground running with 20-plus goals? We don't know. I mean, he's got nine this season, so you're asking a lot for him there. I think it's going to be very much a wait and see, but I think he, he could do quite well. Um, Robert says, African nations could be a problem with Onana. Potentially, yeah, and maybe that's where Tom Heaton steps in as third choice. Um... James says, where's the trophy kept from Saturday? Hang on. It's in the far corner. In fact, can I see it if I move the camera? It's up there. You see it up there in the corner? Or up there. Um, we'll bring it down for the Paddock podcast later on. <laughs> Uh, if you would like us to bring that one down. Um, apparently, people in the comments saying apparently Onana has retired from international football. That's interesting. Wasn't aware of that. When did that happen? I did not know that. Uh, Alex there says, due to issues with higher-ups. Very interesting. Maybe that's why um, we're going all out for him. That's very. That is very interesting. Um, John Dillinger says, just turned... Tuned in. Is Slabed um, finally gone? No. Uh, Alex says they had a disagreement for the World Cup. Ah, there we go. There we go. Um, keyboard Warrior says, big room, Steve. I thought he was in the broom cupboard. No, we are, we are a big room. And you can't quite see it, but we have a bar through there as well. That's where we do the rum down. Um, Lipstick says, it's not about one player scoring goals, it's the little improvements all over the pitch. I absolutely agree with that one as well. I mean, if Marcus is scoring 15 plus, Rasmus gets 15 plus, and then you get maybe you know, between 7 and 10 from Anthony and Sancho each, and Bruno chips in with 7 or 8, you, you, you're getting enough goals, I think, there. Uh, Jano says, also interesting to see how Kovar develops himself. Yeah, I think that's a very good point as well. Another season on loan for him and see what happens. Could be a, a real big one for the future for us. Mark says, all right, stay late to the stream. Hope you're well. Did I see any of the 21s? I know I'm not a big England fan, but nice to see Gomez playing like Variety. <coughs> no, I've not um, I've not seen any of the under 21s, actually, but I believe they won the thing without conceding a goal, right? That's that's some doing, that is. That is some doing. Um, Lewis says, if we're signing a guy that only scored 10 last season, then Anthony needs to pull his finger out and hit at least 15 goals. I mean, the thing with Anthony is he does have the shots. He does get the shots. He's just not finding the target enough. So hopefully I think that's the uh, the improvement he manages to make this season because that'll be quite uh, powerful for us if he does. Aaron says, how do I rate the midfield with Cass, Mount and Fernandez? Do I think we need Aram Amrabat? Yeah, I think Amrabat rounds that off really, really nice. Um, really, really nicely. I think that's a hell of a midfield if we manage to pull that one in as well. Um Iziaka says Anana had disagreements with Cameroon coach and retired. Might be coming out of retirement though. Uh, Pedrag says good day, Steve. Good day, sir. Uh, up your kilt says swap Fred for Palinia plus money. Um, Manny says it's the conversion rate issue for Anthony. It really is. Um, Etal says, or oh, Aunt Elsie says, uh, I'd only be happy with Hoyland if we also go for Tony with a view to him uh, coming in as first choice once his ban is done. 
I don't think United will sound Tony. I think United try do everything that they they can to appease sponsors because that is the that is their priority. United's priority is that it's not to score goals; it's sponsors. So you know, um, I don't think they'll sign on uh, Tony because of his betting scandal. Imagine put it this way: it was a bit of a big scandal, right? But if he'd have played for United, it would have been what three, four hundred times more. Like they'd have been asking us to be relegated and all sorts of stuff, wouldn't they? You know they would. So yeah, I, I think that's uh, that's the one. Uh, anyway, right, I'm going to wrap it up there. I will be on the Paddock Pod a little bit later on. There's all sorts of stuff coming out, so please come and tune in for all of that stuff. Hit the subscribe button if you're new around here, and let me know your thoughts on those there rumours. I'll see you in the next one. Sarah. Hey, thank you for watching the video. If you are new around these parts, then don't forget to subscribe. My channel is proudly supported by my community on Patreon. If you'd like to get a little bit of extra content, a Discord group, meetups, five-a-side games, weekly podcasts, behind the scenes, and even an occasional bit of transfer news, as and when I get it, then for the price of a pint, you can show your appreciation for the content that we make and get some goodies for doing so as well. Check the link in the description or click the button right here. You'll also find all of my socials here too if you want to follow me on any of those platforms. Nice one.